everyone, I am Artemis, and I'm here today to talk about albums versus singles. Uh, recently I put up a poll on my social media pages, and basically I was just asking, what's the future of music? What do you prefer personally? Do you prefer albums, or do you prefer singles? And what I got was not all that surprising. I found that a majority of the people that weren't musicians were all for singles, and <laughs> everyone who was a musician, definitely all for albums. Uh, in fact, uh, let's see, I've got it, 44% uh, said they preferred albums, 56% said they preferred singles. So I don't know if that's a sign that it's the future of music. But it's definitely interesting, and it's something I've been thinking about a lot over the last few weeks. I've been having conversations with friends who are musicians. What do they think? Do they think that albums are dying off? Are we now switching to singles only? One of the things that really sparked this debate for me was uh, actually two artists that I've really gotten into over the last couple of years. Uh, Hozier and Mondo Cosmo. And Hozier is very much an album artist, and he's even said, if I wanted to be a pop star, I would be a pop star. But he releases albums, he's about to release a new album. And then you have Mondo Cosmo, who, f as far as I know, has only released singles, single after single, and they're all awesome. And there's value in both ways, I think. And it's definitely interesting. I've kept up with both. I'm current on both. I'm fans of both. But their approaches are different, and I think that's kind of neat. I don't see why we can't do that. So there's a few reasons I think that singles are the future. It's easier to keep someone's attention for one song. I'm st I haven't released an album yet, but I have released a lot of singles, and I have noticed that when I release the single, I get a lot of feedback, I get a lot of views, a lot of listens, and in general, I'm able to keep people's attention a lot easier because I'm just promoting a single song at a time. Versus an album where I'm asking them for an hour of their time, listen to these 13 songs, and let me know what you think. What's funny is that music actually started as singles. That's what it was all about. Get your hit single. Get it on the radio. People will buy the single. You're a famous rock star now. But somewhere around the 50s, it could have been sooner, it could have been later, but I pinpoint probably around the 50s, more specifically, uh, I'd say Frank Sinatra with his In the Wee Hours album, which I know is cited as one of the first concept albums, but in general, it just, it marked a direction towards albums as a whole, paying attention to the whole album, and it wasn't really about the single. There were singles, because he's Frank Sinatra, one of the biggest artists in the world. There were singles, but that's not what it was about. He wanted to compile an album full of songs that told a full story. There was an arc there, and he really changed the game. Then you had Beach Boys, then you had The Beatles, obviously with Pet Sounds, Sgt. Pepper, and even before Sgt. Pepper, you had The Beatles, that, you know, with Revolver, Rubber Soul, they were really more focused on putting you in a space for 30, 45 minutes, an hour, and really creating a vibe for you. But why can't singles also do that? Why can't a single be more like a television show versus an album which is like a movie. I mean, you've got Breaking Bad, you've got 13 episodes, each episode contributes to the overall arc of the story. You don't forget about the previous 
episode, why would you forget about the previous song? Why can't we put out a single once a week, once a month, whatever, and then release the album as more of a collection of the singles in a physical format? That's the series. You buy your DVDs, you buy a CD, there you go. Why can't it be like that? Um, that's not necessarily where I want to go with my music, but it's an interesting thought. Uh, I'm, of course, of the album generation. I'm from progressive rock. Obviously, I'm doing pop music now, more pop, indie rock. But deep down, I'll always be a progressive rock guy. And progressive rock is all about the albums. So, I don't know. It could, it could go either way, and I think that there's no right or wrong answer here. Um, I think that an album is great. It's how you tell your story, but how can artists evolve with the attention span of their audience that they may or may not even have yet? I think that it's important that we be flexible in finding our audience and working around their schedule. Spotify is where they find us now. iTunes is where they find us. Apple Music. They're finding us on YouTube. I mean, it's... You can't expect to release an album and then have everyone listen to every single song. But you can make them listen to every single song if you show it to them one at a time. I don't know, just some things I was thinking about, and no right or wrong answer, but uh, it's, it's, it's interesting, and times are always changing. We're kind of in the Wild West right now, as far as music goes. We don't really have a clear direction. All we know is we don't have record labels anymore. There are some independent radio stations, but we don't have that either. So, I don't know, I just think we believe, be flexible a little bit see what our audience wants and try to accommodate that and once you have an audience then you can start releasing albums I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm not for sure if that's what I'm going to do but it's an option I can release singles once I have an audience that are interested that are paying attention that know I'm releasing an album then I can release an album um, Again, I'm still pretty torn on it, but who knows? Music videos could come back. We don't know. It can go either way. But let me know what you think, and you know, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear it. Let's, let's have this debate. So make sure to like and subscribe right there, and... I'm not sure if I'll be doing more videos like this. I don't know, kind of like it, a little fun. Uh, just talking directly to a camera. As a drummer, nobody listens to me. So it's kind of nice to make some eye contact right there. Uh, yeah, awesome, hooray. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.